At this point, you should have two short sections of music based on Anna Klein's Sound and Fury. You should have something with motifs that was based on section one, and then a passacaglia with text based on section five. Your next job is to decide on an order for these two sections and join them together. So here's our musicians doing just that. So we've got our two sections now, so we need to kind of decide how we're gonna order them into one bigger piece. Mm. Um, do you think we should start with the Pascalia that we just had a look at, or should we start with the first bit with the interjections? If we did that, it might be quite nice to go back to the Pascalia. If we start so with making the Pascalia first, just to sort of set the scene. Yeah, and then doing the angry bit in the middle, and mm. then going back, because I kind of like the idea of going back to that Pascalia. Yes. yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we should do the yeah. both Pascalias the same length or should we make the first one a little bit shorter so that it's not a very thick breaded sandwich with a tiny filling? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and actually, I don't know, maybe, oh, there's all these ideas now, but maybe the first Pascaglia we just do quite simply. Mm -hmm. So there's no, no additions yeah. to mm. the chords. If we were to play it through, I don't know, maybe twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then go into the angry bit. Yeah. If that's the technical term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I guess, why don't we just see, or should we say how long the angry bit should be, or should we just see what happens? Or maybe that mm. last high note could be the sign for the passacaglia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we do the extended version of the passacaglia, just yeah. what we've done now. And just be open to letting it sort of roll until it yeah. feels like it's come to a natural again just to see what happens yeah <laughs> yeah you might be here all day <laughs> <laughs> okay so the passacagli is just simply through mm -hmm. twice yeah and then then i do my fanfare to signify it. the beginning yeah. of the next great so that's our kind of sign cool okay let's see let's see how this goes <laughs> i'll try and conduct it instead of counting out loud this time
coda on the end of your music. Coda just means ending. And some classic ways of ending a piece are to raise to a climax, fade away, abruptly stop, or you could even put a perfect cadence on the end. So here's our coda. So we need to add a coda onto the end, a little tail to make sure that everybody knows that we're finished. Um, how do you think would be a good way to do that, especially bearing in mind that we've just got to the nice, calm, um, fade away bit of the Passagalia? It'd be quite nice to wake everyone up, wouldn't it? I think it would, yeah. 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 Um, so what sort, of, what sort of material should we use for that final um, wake-up? Well, the kind of swoop. There could be kind of like a swooping action. So notes kind of like going... And just one one gesture or something, I don't know. What if the treble instrument to the violin went up and the bass clarinet went down and I went oh, excellent. across cool. the room but like that? Mm -hmm. And we'd kind of go... Should we try it? Okay. How long should it be, though? Yeah, just a, I think just like a quite a, a brisk... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. A bit quicker than that. I'll run mm. out of notes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, see if I can play that fast. <laughs> At this point, you will have a finished piece of music. We'll end this film with our finished piece. But if you want to take this further and make your music longer, watch the next film. Day to day.